Good morning. There was an election in New Zealand. I think it's good, this one. There, there will be a right-wing coalition. They are still counting the votes. But the big winner is the National Party, 39%. They got 39%. It's good. And the new PM will be this man, Chris Luxon. Now, I listened to him this morning. I watched him. Right. Now, Jacinda's party, Labour, they recorded the biggest drop in New Zealand history. Wow. They got 26%. And you know, Jacinda, she was replaced by this guy, Chris Hipkins. Now, he was something else, I think. You know, this new guy, Chris Luxon, he looks like a man. He sounds like a man. Oh. The old one, Chris Hipkins, he's something else, I think. Now, I heard that Chris Hipkins, the guy who replaced Jacinda, he said something about replacing Jacinda, that this was so hard, and he knew it. <laughs> I don't understand this thing about Jacinda Ardern. Now, media loves... Um, and now he says this about her, right? Now she ruined New Zealand and then people didn't like her and then she resigned. What's so good about this lady? I don't get it. No? Anyway, I was listening to this guy, the new PM, Chris Luxon. In, he was in an interview after his victory. And I, did, I didn't like him very much. Um, he may be good, I don't know, but I just didn't like him. Uh, he was a businessman before he became a politician. He became an MP in 2020. Right? So he's sort of new to politics. Uh, he's been a CEO. He was the CEO of Unilever. Right? Well, that's not a good sign. And he was at the CEO for a long time. From 1993 to 2011. Then he became the CEO of Air New Zealand. And apparently he did very well with this. This company did extremely well. This is what I see. When he was the CEO. So, of course, he knows something about business, right, and finances. So maybe he will be good for New Zealand financially. You know? I know, I know, he will be better than the last ones, of course. But I don't know. Now, wouldn't it wouldn't it be nice if it went the other way for a change? You know. Usually when they become the PM or president or something, very quickly they betray the people and work for the globalist assholes. Would it be nice if it was the other way this time? You know? So, before he became the PM, he was talking to the globalists and he said, yeah, I'll do whatever you want. Yeah, I agree with everything you say, right? And then when he becomes the PM, he betrays them. <laughs> And works for the people. Oh. Just an idea. I don't think it will happen though. I didn't like him. There was something with this. Something about him. I, I just didn't like it. So we'll see. But he'll be better though. I'm happy about this result in New Zealand. Especially the, the drop. The drop the labor drop, the people realized what this was and now they don't want it anymore. This is the best part of this, I think. It's great. All right. How do you guys in New Zealand feel about this? Please, tell us. How do you feel about this election? It would be very interesting to, to read about this. I know there's quite a few of you watching. It would be 
great to hear what you have to say about it. All right, be good.